Red? Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm Nicholas Johnson. I'm Desmond Pickens. Justin Olsen back. Jerry Brooks is the cameraman. And this is our heat transfer project. Heat transfer is a discipline of thermal engineering that concerns the generation, use, conversion, and exchange of thermal energy between physical systems. Thermal energy moves because there is a temperature difference. Three main forms of heat transfer are convection, conduction, and radiation. This report encompasses a full heat transfer analysis of a two-slice toaster and its heat transfer to a slice of bread. We will determine the amount of heat generated by the toaster and the amount of heat energy the bread is absorbing to calculate the overall energy efficiency of the toaster. Going into this experiment, we had to make several uh, assumptions. Our first assumption was that there's really only radiation heat transfer going on. There's such a small amount of airflow that the convection is negligible. We also made assumption that uh, the bread is going to be a solid, flat surface rather than the porous material that it really is. There's going to be negligible heat uh, conduction on the edges of the bread. And then lastly, we assume that we're going to treat the bread as a gray body to further simplify our radiation calculation. So for our actual experiment, we used a chef mate toaster, just a normal two-slice toaster. Um, just set it up in the kitchen, preheated the uh, toaster so we could get our initial temps. After we did that, we placed uh, the bread inside and were able to conduct our experiment. We had the timer set for about 40 seconds. Um, as soon as the bread popped up, we were able to take our temperatures and we used a thermometer, cooking thermometer, and also a non-contact thermometer. The cooking thermometer was useful because we were able to use it, use the probe end of it to get like pinpoint actual temperatures, and then the non-contact was very useful as far as getting deep down inside the toaster, that way we didn't burn our hands or anything like that. These are our results. Afterwards, we have the air in the room, air in the toaster, crust of the toast, center of the toast surface, the internal temperature of the toast, which we use the cooking thermometer, the outside surface of the toaster, the metal casing inside the toaster that encompasses all the heat, kind of keeps it isolated, the cage for the bread, which is where the bread sits, and then the filament. previous slide you did see a lot of temperatures those are really just useful in seeing where all the extra energy goes in this experiment now for our actual calculations we're only concerned with two of those temperatures the surface of the bread and the temperature of the filament as well as the temperature of the inside of the bread for the conduction side of the equation now we had to calculate our h rad value ourselves and we ended up doing this using uh the a predefined emissivity found by previous studies and then our Boltzmann constant, the surface of the bread and the temperature of the filament, and we got that to equal 13.4171. Now taking this value along with our surface area of the bread and the thickness of the bread that we uh, measured, we were able to plug this into our equation to find the total thermal resistance for our thermal circuit seen here. And then after we found that, which was 7.974, we were able to plug, plug that into our equation to find the actual heat that was received by the toast. And we got that to be 54.85 watts. Now taking that number and dividing that by the actual wattage of the toaster, we were able to find our thermal efficiency, and we got that to be about 6.86%, which is pretty bad. The ways that heat is transferred from the toaster to the bread is called radiation and conduction. Once the students were able to conduct the experiment and find the temperatures experimentally, they used the equations they learned in class to find the efficiency, which was quite low, to a 6.86%. So to conclude, the students were able to conduct this experiment, a real world problem, using equations they learned in class to find the efficiency.